Hello everybody! Let's see how to use the animator. It's super easy and very fast. First, be sure that our document is ready for creating the animations. In general, we need to create a video timeline and make sure that we have 30 frames per second set. For this, go to Window Timeline. Click on the button uh, Create Video Timeline. After that, go to the right corner to check our frame rate. Click on menu Set Timeline Frame Rate. By default, uh, Photoshop uh, always creates 30 frame rate per second video timeline, but in some cases it can be different value depends on your preferences. And most important things uh, you should know that uh, before adding animation, uh, the layer must have default 5 second duration and set in 0 frame on the timeline. By default, Photoshop always create a layer with 5 seconds uh, duration. But if your slider uh, set not in the 0 frame, for example, uh, Photoshop create a layer where slider is set. In this case, you need drag your track of the layer in zero frame position. Let's create our first animation and it will be titles, for example. Open the animator, select titles tab. I won't use the first preset uh, with classic easing function. By default duration of the animation is uh, 23 frames and 7 frames for fading. Of course, you can set your own value. I will use default values. Select your base layer and click on Intro button and find the right direction button. Fast! All the same steps for outro. A little tip for you. I don't know why. But when the timeline panel is hide, process of creation animation goes much, much faster. I hide my timeline panel for a while and create auto animation to right direction again. Click on out button and select right direction. As you can see, process is too fast and few clicks and your animation is ready. Uh, let's create our static layer, click on this icon and now uh, let's open the timeline and set start and end of the animation. And now we can play uh, to see whole animation. Cool! Thanks for watching and enjoy!